I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. VR61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid, because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Uh, 
Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even, quite a pair. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer. Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Bergeron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyan's worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. I believe... This is the disc from last night. Peachy. I'm ruined. Hmm. A toy dog. 
Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Well, isn't that cute? A candy bar. Yuck. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Judging from the distance between, judging from the distance between, big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. There's not a lot I can tell you. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Howie Lee's in ch Judging from the distance, judging from the about 30 ca scratches and she came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. I'm ruined! Totally ruined! Stick around. I may not be finished with you. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. He says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. 
So, Runsitter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Anamoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinning drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> you're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runcitas is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Ground floor. Bryant go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Lock up. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. Who are you, anyway? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. I got some more questions for you. Your associate, Ms. Steele, has already taken my statement. I have nothing more to say unless I have an attorney present. I got some more questions for you. Your associate, Ms. Steele, has already taken my statement. I have nothing more to say unless I have an attorney present. Laboratory. Roof. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. McCoy, LPD, I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. You're a pretty smart-looking cat. You gonna make some money? Pay me large. You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Got to mix more out back. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Beautiful night, isn't it? 
When business driving, night always beautiful. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. How long has that chef worked for you? Zubin? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chops that come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. See you later, Howie. See you later, Howie. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here. They're bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl, about 14 years old, with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. There's a test I'd like you to take. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. Routine? Locked. Locked. Totally uninteresting. Yuck. Totally uninteresting. Totally uninteresting. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Judging from the distance, but this woman says she saw that kid who worked for this guy lives across the street. How long has that chef worked for you? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at that black paint you found on the fire. The shell casings from Runcet should. Judging from the shell case, about 30 big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. See you later, Howie.
Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. If you ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with you and air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Yuck. Your floor number, please. Apartments. Roof. Ground floor. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Maggie, come here, girl. Good doggy. Good doggy. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Run sitter crime scene. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that.
A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. 